Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Ridden and today we're making a miniature croquembouche in my mini kitchen. Firstly you'll need to grab all of your ingredients, so we've got some butter and a cup of water. That will do. Put the butter and the water into your saucepan. Then you want to light your stove and put the pan over high heat so that the butter melts into the water. Then you can add in your flour and stir that in really well. Now the heat will make this thicken because it makes all the starch granules in your flour burst. Just keep stirring it so that it's not lumpy. You can of course make this full sized and all the recipe quantities for that are on the howtocookthat.net website and I'll put a link to that below for you. Keep stirring that until it forms a ball and leaves the side of your pan and then keep mixing it over the heat for a couple of minutes more because that makes it rise properly in the oven. Then remove that from the heat and add in your eggs one at a time. That's a bit tricky when they're this tiny. There you go. Now stir that in, keep going. The pan is still a bit warm on my fingers. Now add in the next egg whoops or add in all of the eggs and mix that in really well until you get a smooth paste. You want to put that paste into a piping bag fitted with a round nozzle. Now if you don't have a piping bag you could use a Ziploc bag with the corner cut off instead. Line a baking tray with some non-stick baking paper and pipe blobs of mixture onto your tray making sure you leave some room between each one. Try and make them all around the same size and don't worry if you get some bits sticking up. If you just wet your finger you can push those bits down so that those little bits don't burn in the oven. Place that into your oven. There we go, shut the door and wait about 15 minutes and they should puff up Oh look, they worked! They're cute little profiteroles. So profiteroles are like little round balls of pastry that are full of air. Now put out that candle. <sighs> we'll need a new one in there for next time. Now to make the custard you'll need milk, vanilla, four egg yolks, flour and sugar. Pour the sugar in with your egg yolks and whisk them together. There were so many questions on the tiny eggs and the tiny chopped chips in the last video. And no, I do not have a tiny supermarket near me. That would be awesome though. Imagine going through the shelves and choosing what you wanted in miniature version. Add in your flour and whisk that through until you can't see any more bits of white, no more lumps, you want it all smooth. Next, pour the milk into your pan and you want to heat that on the stovetop until the milk just begins to boil. Make sure you're watching it because you don't want this to boil over. Take that off the heat and then pour that into the egg yolk mixture and whisk it together. Once you've done that, you want to pour all of that back into the pan so that we can heat it up again just like that. Add in a drop of vanilla essence and return it to the heat until it thickens. Keep stirring it so all the flour and the egg yolks cook and it has a nice creamy flavour. Spoon that custard into a piping bag. Gee this is tricky when it's this little. It's hard enough putting things in piping bag when they're full size. Then you want to pipe custard into each profiterole to fill it up. Once you've filled them all, place some sugar into a pan and add enough water just to cover it. Place that over the heat and leave it without stirring and it will start to boil and then it will boil down and keep bubbling and then when it just starts to turn golden, remove it from the heat. Take one profiterole at a time and dip it into the hot sugar and then place that on your base. Continue to add more profiteroles around in circles all the way up to make a cone shape. 
Then take some of the extra hot sugar and wrap it around the croquembouche just by doing circles around it. Now if you like you can also add some edible flowers for some colour and some more hot sugar around it. Clean your kitchen and your teeny weeny croquembouche is done. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. Click here for the latest video and here for more fun. And this week I might upload this video with no talking midweek as well. So make sure you watch that one and let me know which one you like better. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.